Today we're going to show you how to overlay the Simavio panel that includes the glare shield over the top of the X-Plane visual so that this whole purple area becomes transparent and now is your X-Plane outside visual area. So first thing we need to do after we've launched uh, Simavio and X-Plane and the panel that I loaded is Cessna 182T FTS 1000 photo dot LFTS, which is a layout file. Uh, first thing we need to do is go to view and here it says masked view. Masked view is control M. Remember that shortcut because as soon as you type control M or use the menu, um, it does what I mentioned, the purple area becomes transparent and it overlays over the top of the X-Plane visual. Uh, as you can see, there's now no way for me to access the, the menus when um, Simavio is in masked, masked mode, which is why you need to memorize that shortcut Control-M to take you back out of the uh, mask mode for Simavio. Um, next thing let's do first here is let's maximize the X-Plane visual. Click back on Simavio. Control M makes it full screen, and now we have the outside visual for X plane above and Simavio on the bottom. You'll notice a problem here, though. You can see that some of the switches are cut off on the left side of the Simavio panel. So once I um, exit mask mode, I can access the menus again, and I go to edit layout or Control L as a shortcut and that um, will allow me to modify the window location. Deselect snap to bounds and now if I just move this a little bit um, it will uh, allow me to determine its position. And I probably want to move it down, move this whole thing down a little bit so that it's at the bottom of the screen and when I click close, <coughs> takes it back out of uh, the layout mode and control M again puts the panel in the correct position at the bottom of the screen. Um, one thing I don't like is that the uh, runway, the horizon on the outside is at the wrong position. So when I um, go back out of mass screen mode, I can go to Preferences and I can adjust the visual horizon. So I'm going to go, maybe move it to about, I have a problem with my, move it to about right there. Close that again, Control M. And now I think I like that, that horizon position. Um, the last thing, you're going to want to do now is to save this layout now that we have it where we like it. Take it back out of mass screen mode and when you go to file, save layout. Now what I'm demonstrating today is a single monitor uh, setup, but what we really recommend is a two monitor setup. And let me explain to you why it's super important to have two monitors when uh, using the um, Simavio overlay with X-Plane. When I go into um, back into mass screen mode, um, whenever I need to modify something in X-Plane, like change the aircraft or move the location of the aircraft or anything, as soon as I go up here to the menus and click on something, it uh, hides the Simavio panel. However, if you have a two monitor setup, what you will what you would do is put um, your instructor station, your instructor's console or iOS on your second monitor and dedicate that for the iOS and then have your visual and Simavio on your on your other monitor so that when you click uh, to modify something in, in X-Plane it doesn't uh, hide the Simavio panel on the visual window. So to do that, to do a two-monitor setup, you go into Rendering Options and select 
this box here, which is Draw iOS on second monitor on the same video card. One thing you need to keep in mind, though, is when you uh, when you set up a two monitor setup, Xplane requires uh, Xplane is required to be the primary monitor. And what I mean by primary monitor is when you um, when you go into your uh, screen resolution <coughs> and uh, when you select this, if you have two monitors, there is a uh, checkbox here that says make this my primary monitor. Make sure that your instructor's station is your, your primary monitor and you should be all set.